What's good, gamers and folks? Terrence the Gamer here with my ace, Afro Kinzu. Yo, what up? And my ace number two, La Soul. Hey, y'all good. I said it right this time. All right, all right. Today's podcast is going to be about your preference. What do you prefer when you're gaming? Graphics, gameplay, story. The, the trinity, the trio. What's your preference? Let's start you off, Ken. Go for it. Why are you starting like Because you, you're, you're, you're a very intellectual young man. Let's right. go. Um, my main things is usually gameplay and story. I really don't care about graphics that much. But, I mean, gameplay uh, Gameplay would be my top, and then story would be second. Because, you know, what's the point of the story if there's no good gameplay? Like, you know, an example, like, um, uh, what's that game called? It's right at the top of my head. I'm playing the motorcycle dude with the... Uh, Days with Gone? Days Gone, perfect example. Gameplay was... Not great at all, but the story was the, st- the story you felt like you were trying to like pick, trying to just I, I just gotta get through it. So that that's the reason why I'm like story is second. I did like the motorcycle part though. I, I, I did like that. Oh, if you feeling your motorcycle, I like story? I like that that yeah, that, 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 that was a good mechanic overall. You know, that feeling of you know, hey, you run out of gas, you you you, you, you stuck like Chuck yeah. Free is coming for you. you know? Yeah, right. But um, uh, some games that had a good gameplay and story, um. Uh, Greedfall is one of those games that have a good, good gameplay and story. Is that out now? Uh, Greedfall, yeah, it's out. It's out. It's out. You're on PC? Yeah, that's on PC and Greedfall. Okay. Right. But it, it had a really good story. It, you know, it, everybody was complaining at the very beginning that, you know, it, it, it had an issue with the audio tracking with yeah. the mouth. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of the same thing that um, Mass Effect Andromeda had. Ah, gotcha. But, um, but, you know, people really didn't pay attention. To, well, some people did pay attention to that because there's a lot of people that, like, like the nitpick at every little itty bitty thing in every game. Even if the game is really good, but that 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 had a really good gameplay. You get to choose, you know. There's three different areas you can go into. You can branch off to any single one. It had kind of kind of had like the uh, Path of Exile kind of branch off fast tree, but it, it was a little bit less complicated. But uh, yeah, like the story in the game was good, and you know you're playing as a uh, a Democrat basically, and or a colonizer as we would say. Uh, you have the elf people, and then you have your, you know, humans, and you, you know, you the, you know, the branch between the two to talk to both, both factions, and it was, it was a good game. But what other games? What games? Oh, you got? for me, for me, it's it's gameplay always. Gameplay, gameplay, and narrative over graphics. I don't care if a game is graphically. I played plenty of games in my OG game of lifetime that was, of course, not graphically good, but very, very good gameplay and story. You know, one of my favorite games of all time. So, it's the Soul Reaver, Legacy of Kane series, you know, Blood Omen, Blood Omen 2, Soul Reaver 2, Soul Reaver 2, Legacy, I mean, Defiance. Great games, good graphics, and a great story. You were interested in Kane and Raziel's story all the way through. Interesting thing about Soul Reaver. Back then, when they played, man, they made uh, Legacy of Kane the first one. It was, a, it was a top-down game. Yeah. It was a yeah. top-down game. They they gave, Victus. Yeah, 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 it was a yeah. top-down game. And it was really dark. Oh, man, it, was it was a really was, dark it game. Really good. It was really good. It had a really good story, too, and the gameplay was tight. Kane was a young vampire, but he was he was on his way to being invincible. Of course, when Soul Reaver came out, which has the very best video game intro of all time, if you ask me. Until I have the honor of surpassing my lord. That, that, that intro was on point. And of course, you got Raziel trying to defy his fate. All that good stuff. I mean, that's all put together very, very well. You know that that's just one. That's a game that really, really stood out when it was when it is heyday. You know? There's, a, there's there, a lot of a lot of things that uh, uh, so um, Legacy of Kane did that a lot of games don't do nowadays. No, like doesn't. you're playing, you're playing Kane, and he's a vampire, but he stuck to his roots. Like yeah. he was evil. That was it. You were yeah. playing an evil character. Yeah, that was it. But it was all part of the show. If you know the story, yeah, of course. It, it was all predestined part of the the whole. Thing, but it, it was great. It was a great game. It was a great narrative. But you won't see too much of that. This is when you're a hero, you're a hero. That's it. Yeah, you won't see too much of that kind of stuff. You know, a lot of it these days. You know, most people don't want to sit down through a long cutscene of a game. You know, I mean, like I said, those game, those cutscenes. Even back then, those cutscenes were easily three to five minutes. You know, you gotta. Metal Gear Solid Four. Like, <laughs> oh no! We always know about Metal Gear Solid Four. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and great, but for me, it's. Gameplay, of course, narrative, graphics. You know what I'm saying? You I mean, there's been pretty of great games that came out this generation that's pretty done pretty well with that. God of War being one of them. Okay, 
again came out and even I had my reservations when it changed the gameplay perspective to over the show. I was like, man, I don't want to play that. But of course, when it came out, didn't put it down. Played it all the way through. Because that was one game out of out of this generation of gaming, like from t- 2010 to to now. That is the one game that I literally played and could not could, like could not put down. I had to put it all the way through. I could not put that. Game I could not. I could yeah. not put that game down. Yeah, I mean, there was yeah. no other game in my periphery. It was only that one game. What about you, Lasso? What, what's your What's your preference? Preference? Uh, I gotta go hard on gameplay. I used to be really big. Like, story used to be top for me, absolutely, because uh, I play a lot of shorter, I really enjoyed short story type games, okay. and the gameplay would often be trash, but, like, the different stories that you got to be exposed to were, were awesome. I remember a lot of, like, little, little titles on uh, the Wii and whatnot that were really ambiguous games, but I would just download them for free, because back then you could hack it, and it was no big deal. <laughs> Nothing beats free. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, but lately, yep, just just gameplay and graphics, and it's not even like, oh, it has to be this so much beautiful, um, but I think graphics really helps you immerse yourself in a world, yes. or gives you a feeling, Yes, that gives you an emotion, and uh, I know for me, pixel art it is like real cute, like charming aesthetic stuff, yeah. like just makes you feel happy. And I love being in those environments. And that's 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 one. I mean, like I said, there's nothing wrong with a game graphically. By no means, I'm not saying graphics. Of course, it's not bad. I mean, it's a, you want a game wants to be look nice and beautiful. Those are, I love games like you know, Flower, Journey, Abzu. Those are graphically beautiful games, and they tell a great story without saying anything. You know what I'm saying? But so I mean, you can have a mix of all three, and it'd be beautiful and wonderful. But I don't think it should be sacrificed at all. You should do try to do all three as much together as possible. And I understand sometimes, especially with these games, you got deadlines and you got the publishers bringing down your back. And I get it. Sometimes you got to kind of cut the corners. I, I understand that from a business perspective and from a technical perspective also. So, I mean, it, 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 it'll, be, it'll be okay. But I guess we're all pretty much in agreement that we all like gameplay and narrative. Gameplay, of course, it's gameplay is top because it's a video game. You play it. It's meant to be played. That's what it's there for. You know, it's a game. That's what it's, okay, that's the overall core mechanic of it is to play and enjoy. What you got? Um, actually, I got two different things. A, can we name a flagship title for a system's launch that wasn't mainly graphics? Like, one of the big appeals wasn't graphics. I would say Super Mario 64. No. Why? Because it still was an appeal. Huh? It still was an appeal. Graphics was. A game that... Graphics it was a was... flagship game for a console's release. And it wasn't, you know, Graphic... graphically impressive. Let me think. I or at least sold that way. Mm-hmm. Well, Big Planet was one of those games. No. It, 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 was that a flagship game? Gra- that game wasn't really. It was a, it was a, it was on one of the big games in PS3 that first. But what what was it? One of the first. I think it was. It, it got, like, I think Little Big Planet was okay, one of the flagship titles, I, and it definitely I, I would put it under graphic. Well, I know, well, I know was, Resist, was, was, was well, Resistance, Resistance was a flagship title for PS3. That game. This is graphically was uh, back in the day. It was actually pretty. Good. It was actually because PS3 was more powerful See? than Xbox. Yeah. There's, three sets. there's no game that it was more powerful like, console. Graphics often sells. It, it does. I mean, it does. I mean, I'm not knocking that. I mean, there's some games that are graphically beautiful. Gears okay. of War. Gears of War is a graphically beautiful Ooh, game. Yes, it is. It looks good. You know. So um, that that was my first thought. My second thought is, I don't know what genre. are some weird genres to have? Like, say you focus on two of these things. What are two weird genres to focus on these two? Added three mechanics. Well, like game for instance, graphics? yeah. Uh, for instance, a racing game that is mainly about art and story, but the gameplay sucks. Like this just makes for a terrible game, right? I don't like, know, man. Yeah. Like, could you? Could you? Do I mean, that? I, I think racing games. I'm thinking Need for Speed, Forza, Gran Turismo, Ridge Racer. Well, if you uh, want to think about games that are not graphically appealing, graphically appealing, you can look at all the Telltale games. They're not really. Wait, wait, wait. We're not. We're not talk, I'm talking about like combina- weird combinations for genres. Telltale games. 
It gets a weird combination. Yeah, they like because they're they're like it, it's gameplay and story. That's like standard for not any really much action. Gameplay in a game other than you hitting one button and or going to the right or left. You don't get make it. This is this is all quick actions. That's all their game is. Quick action. Tales games. Telltale's games. Telltale's. I have their combat system was Telltale's. Telltale's games. Telltale's. Yes. Okay, Walking like, Dead. Walking Batman, Dead. Batman, oh, Tales from the Borderlands. Oh. Wolf Among Us. Those games. Yeah. But for that genre, that's not weird. It's well, it was story. weird in the, in the time period it came out. It was. It was, was something new. It was something new. new. Yeah. Mm. I'm talking about weird game. Yeah, I played Pursuit Force on PSP. What well, what would you what genre would you put that in? Action and racing? Because you were like you're a cop and you're going down highways and stuff. And the main play of the game is that pursuit for you jump on top of another car, uh-huh. shoot it, pull them out, arrest them, all kind of stuff. That was the premise of the game. I wish I can show it, but you know, of course, you can't record nothing with a PS. You know what I'm saying? But that was it. Was, I have I have I had two games: pursuit force, pursuit force, and pursuit force two. You can say Metal Gear Solid Acid. Oh yeah, that was a car game. That was a game. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird game. Yeah, was, I played Tepin on my phone last night. Uh, that was pretty interesting. I was playing right. That was that Capcom card game. And oh. I was, that was, and I was playing That's Ryu. 10 Yeah, I was fighting with Ryu, fighting the Chun Li person. I kept doing the Hadouken. You know, you know, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that one. But it was a weird. I'm trying to think of a weird game that missed two. I don't know. What, uh, what, you got any examples of any? Absolutely. Oh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Say it. Say uh, it, say Under, it. Undertale's a good one. Oh. Gameplay and story. Yeah. That bullet hell stuff, storyline. Yeah, yeah. We we, we 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 had this discussion a while ago. I'm not. We, I'm, 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 for for the sake for the sake of argument, I'm just going. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it right now. Okay, do okay. It. I know you love I mean, some Undertale. If, if you want us Undertale, I guess Undertale, yeah, because it didn't. It's not really graphically appealing, but it wasn't a flagship. Well, no, we're not. Yeah, he, he, he was talking about flagship. That was the first thought. Yeah, and yeah. since we couldn't, think I'm still I'm thinking thinking about flagship game. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about thinking about thinking about was that came on PS2 was the bouncer. Well, is, is that a graphic game? You got, you got, you got, you got freaking Undertale. You got Dungreed. You got. That's not a No, not. Oh, you're talking about weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about what? Okay. Yeah, start talking about. We're kind of mixing ourselves up a little bit. You got Dungreed. You got Undertale. You got Enter the Gungeon. You got. Wait, how's that weird? Drifter. Wait, how's it? How's Enter the Gungeon weird? Bro, that that game was. was I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a weird combination for a genre. And that's a bullet hell. And bullet hell, that game is, it's not, I wouldn't say the story is, the gameplay. It's, that game is mostly gameplay, but then also art. Because it's funny that it's real well, satirical. Got theory, that's okay. a weird combination. Fury was weird. But we're not, we're not talking about weird game. Theory. We're talking about the game with this Afro Samurai looking uh, dude. And... <laughs> Bad story was uh, weird. Bro. Okay, okay, you were okay, here because you didn't realize today in the game that you were actually the wrong in the wrong. <laughs> you were the bad guy. Okay, I didn't finish the fucking game, so go ahead and spoil it for me. Well you messed up too late now. You can probably find it on YouTube anywhere. But yeah. you're, you're fighting you fighting to get out, but at the end of the game you realize that they was trying to prevent you from getting out because you were supposed to destroy the planet that that, that was below you. So when you actually beat the game that's when you realize that. So, okay, but then you did not destroy it. Uh I can't remember. It's been a while, so I should have started thinking. So, huh. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't think of that right now. I, I would have to. I'm, I, as a matter of fact, we're going to say that for this podcast, another podcast topic. I got to do some research on that one. Also, Drifter. Drifter. Like, any any indie Ooh, game, they all have A shooter that is mainly story, but, like, just poor gameplay, but still a good game. Find it. Oh. Find uh, it. Be, 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 people will say Call of Duty. That would be the first, first thing that popped in my mind. But I'm not a fan of Call of Duty multiplayer, but it's it, this previous Call of Duty was on point. That storyline was hit. Even I played, I played all the way, all the way through many times. I like that story. But what was the gameplay trash? It's Call of Duty. It's not yeah, trash. It's, it's, shooting, just, it's just nothing innovative. Point shoot. Yeah. Point <laughs> shoot. It's just like that other game where you're playing. Uh, the story is interesting. You're playing a, a redneck that got sent to Egypt. Egypt. And it's a uh, it's a um, rogue like shooter game, but you're just a redneck that just got sent to Egypt. I got fun, and that did, and it did really good because it was, was just weird. Yeah, it was okay. A weird that's a weird game. game. I'm looking for that one. But, uh, we're going to say that for another podcast topic, man. We talk about weird games like that, but uh, oh, I got a whole bunch, bro. Like, yeah, 
Okay, well, uh, we're going to end this podcast, but I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on uh, what's your preference when you come to your game? Sign off in the comments. What do you like? Gameplay? Narrative? Uh, graphics? The mix of the three? Sign off. Talk about some of your favorite games. What, what games that really, really you see doing very well? What games sacrifice one for the other? Cause there are a lot out there. You know what I'm saying? But I want to hear what you guys got to say in the comments. I like to thank y'all for watching my, not watching my video. I ain't doing that right now. I thank y'all for tuning into the podcast. It's like a podcast. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification hey. bell. Keep on playing. Keep on playing weird games. If you think of any flagship titles that were not wrestling intensive, please put that in the comments. I, yes, I would like to hear about that also. And as always, gaming is purity. Peace.